Oh my God! What is this rubbish? How low can you be? Why did you just spit on me? Oh, do you know how much this dress cost? Oh, I'll just pay you the details. But let me tell you the amount I got it for. Because I'm sure you've never had such in your life. I got it for $10,000. So don't you dare do that again. <laughs> I noticed you left the office. Do you want me to bring your drink for you? Oh yes, please. I don't mind. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Lisa! Greg! Oh my god! Is this you? Yeah, it's me! Lisa, how oh, are you? Oh, please stop it. I don't shake low life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. So what are you doing here? Oh, I came here because of this car. See, I really like this car. That's why I'm here, admiring it. <laughs> of course. You're here to admire the car. Because that is the only thing you ever do. Admire, admire. You will never buy. Well, it's fine. Um, what about you? What are you here for? Oh, that's a dumb question, but I'm going to answer you. I'm here to purchase the car. This? Yes, of course. And let me tell you something about this car. It's an abstract. It is very unique. It has more beautiful things in it, but from the outside, you will think it's very simple. That's the reason why I want to buy it. Exactly why I love this car. Of course, I know you love the car. But the bad thing is, you can't afford it because you are too low for the car. You don't have money. I'm wondering why they allowed you into this place and why you're standing very close to this expensive car. Oh, come on. Is that right? How has life been with you? Great. Life has been so good, like so, so good. And guess what? I'm a doctor now. Doctor? Yes. I just received my doctorate in accounting from Stanfield. Wow. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what about you? What university do you attend? Well, I couldn't afford my university tuition fee, so I dropped out. Oh, <laughs> I never expected anything less. You know, my thesis in corporate accounting was published immediately I finished my doctorate. And guess what? Mossy Box Financial hired me immediately and they pay me a lot. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Greg. Uh, let me guess. You don't have a degree, right? So what do you do? Oh, a sales boy. Because that's, that's the only thing you can do without a degree. I'm sure they pay me a lot that can feed you for the rest of your life. <laughs> there you go, sir. Thank you. Miss, do you care for some? Don't you dare call me miss. I am a doctor, so address me as doctor. And I don't know why you're serving this low life a drink. Someone that just came here to admire a car. Just go, you can get me something. Okay, doctor. <laughs> oh my God. What kind of drink is this? It tastes really good. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry I'm laughing. You want to tell me you don't know the Glen Brandy? This is the best brandy in town and it's well celebrated by everyone. Oh, silly me. I'm sure you've never tasted it. It's not for idiots and low bragged people. Oh my God! What is this rubbish? How low can you be? Why did you just spit on me? Oh, do you know how much this dress costs? Oh, I'll just pay you the details. But let me tell you the amount I got it for. Because I'm sure you've never had such in your life. I got it for $10,000. So don't you dare do that again. Lisa, I, I am sorry. 
Sorry for your stinky poor self. What's the meaning of this? Why is this attendance? Oh my God. Why is this attendance? Please just come and tell me the price of this car. Let me buy it and live here. Can't deal with such low lives. Oh. Attendant! Attendant, where are you? Here you go, ma. Thank you. So tell me, how much does this car cost? Oh, Mr. Greg here already asked for the price and I think he's ready to buy it. What? Greg? You asked for the price of this car? Something you can't afford? Oh, you crack me up. I mean, what did you do that for? I just wanted to know the price. You just wanted to know the price when you can't afford it. Come on, that's an insult. Don't try it next time because you might probably end up in jail. It's fine. Grace, you can tell her the price. And if she's interested to buy it, no problem. Okay, sir. Ma, this car costs hundred thousand dollars. What? Hundred thousand dollars? Isn't that too much? That, that's a lot of money. Um, is there no discount? Because there's absolutely no way I can afford a hundred thousand dollars. No, ma, it's a fixed price, no discount. Mr. Greg, are you still interested in buying the car for your daughter? Yes. Okay, sir. Let me get you the invoice. Your daughter? How is that even possible? Well, I am the CEO of Rainbow Laundry Services. CEO? But you're not even a graduate, so how come? Remember my father used to be our school janitor? Yes. Well, he had this small laundry business. And after school, I couldn't afford my tuition fee, so I had to take over from him. Well, the business grew and became what it is today. Oh, wow. That's, that's actually nice. Mr. Greg? Oh my God, Mr. Greg! How are you? I'm fine. How are you? It's so good to see you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ma. Lisa, what are you doing here? Oh, I came to check on someone. Oh, okay. Mr. Greg, so nice to see you. What are you doing here? Well, I came to get a car for my daughter. Your daughter? The small one, she's all grown now. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Mr. Greg, meet Lisa. Lisa, meet Mr. Greg. Mr. Greg, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I, I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you very much. Come on, Jenny. Don't mention. You know, that's a long time ago. Yeah, I know. Lisa, Mr. Greg here was the one who helped me start up the company that I run and that you work for. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mr. Greg, I need to leave now. I came to pick up something from here. I'll see you some other time, okay? No problem. All right, take care. I'll catch you in the office. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Sir, please, are you making payments now or later? Yes, I will pay now. Okay, please sign here, then let's go to the office. Okay. Follow me, please. Yes, sir. I will see you some other time. Ma'am, you shouldn't talk to him like that. He's a customer and he has been here for long. Are you stupid? It looks like you don't like your job anymore, right? I'm just saying, it's not fair. Will you just shut up? Are you trying to say I should allow this papa to cut his hair before Mr. Simon? You know what? You're fired. What? Ma'am. Get out! next okay he's going first then ha then i'm going last oh thank you so much i lost count i wasn't concentrating no problem it's fine i think it's my turn right yes okay thank you welcome Yeah, how are you all doing? So I'll just... 
Oh yes, yes. I'm sorry, sir. Which side do you want? We like food. Food. You just came in, and I've been here for a couple of hours now. I'm sorry. You have to wait for your turn. Wait. I'm sorry. Do you know who you're talking to? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know you. We haven't met before. Oh really? You don't know me. <laughs> um, Martha. Yes, sir. Just how long have you been working here? Almost two years, sir. Could you please tell that thing who I am? I'm very sorry, sir. But this is Mr. Simon, our very top customer. He's very wealthy and respected. Please, let him have his hair cut. Immediately he's done. I'll attend to you. And you don't even have to pay a dime. But well, that's unfair. Look, I've been here for hours. Now it's my turn. You're asking me to wait. Please, sir. No matter. This is unfair and totally unacceptable. Please, matter. Why are you begging him? You should keep quiet. You see, I don't know why poor people keep making too much noise. Don't beg him anymore. Martha, I think this is unfair. This man has been waiting here for hours. And you are here babbing on another person. What do you mean, Jack? Don't you know who Mr. Simon is? Of course I do. But we do not have a VIP section. So we have to treat everyone equally. Okay. Well... I would like to see the manager. I really don't think there's a need for that. Sir, if you want to see the manager, I'll get you the manager. Just get me the manager. <laughs> Good day. Jack said you want to see me. Yes, I requested to see you, ma'am. Okay, so what is the problem? Okay. Now the problem is, when I got here, I met two customers here. I waited my turn. Now it's my turn to have my hair cut. And Martha here insists Mr. Simons goes first. I want to understand why he should go first. And as the manager, I believe you know the right thing to do. Yes. I am the manager here. And as you rightly said, I know the right thing to do. Thank you. I thought as much. <laughs> So the right thing to do is that is to allow Mr. Simon have his hair cut before yours. But I, I excuse me. I mean, look at you. Don't you know how to recognize riches when you see one? Mr. Simon here is one of our respected customers, and he has one of the biggest stores in town. So I suggest you just sit down and wait for him. Ma'am, you shouldn't talk to him like that. He's a customer and he has been here for long. Are you stupid? It looks like you don't like your job anymore, right? I'm just saying, it's not fair. Job. Will you just shut up? Are you trying to say I should allow this papa to cut his hair before Mr. Simon? You know what? You're fired. What? Ma'am. Get out! You know what? If I'm getting fired for doing the right thing, I'll gladly lose the job. He, he talks too much. He talks too much. Please continue. Please wait. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier. And what am I supposed to do with your introduction? I am sure you were told this salon is under a new management as at two weeks ago. And how is that supposed to be your problem? Well, my name is Mr. Samuel Stone. And this salon belongs to me, among other businesses that I own. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know it was you. No. You don't need all that right now. Don't be all soft and nice to me. Well, the truth is, I was worried about the staff working with the previous owner. So I decided to come in here and see things for myself, because I didn't want anyone losing their jobs. So I decided to come in here as a normal customer and have a haircut but i'm glad i finally know how things have been run here yes some people will be fired today but definitely not mr jack so Mata, i would like you to drop the apron and take your personal belongings and leave the salon because you're fired
Martha, you are fired. Please leave. And as for you, Barbara, effective immediately, you've been relieved of your position as the manager in this salon. You're fired. I'm very sorry, sir. Miss Barbara, go in there, clear your decks, and leave. What are you still doing here? And as for you, Mr. Simon, would you wait your turn or you leave? Sir, I would gladly wait my turn. I'm not in a hurry anymore. I will gladly. Please help me with this, please. Thank you. Um, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. I meant no harm. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. We are done with you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Come here, baby. <laughs> Actually, miss. Wait for another time, will you? Don't touch me! Why? That is my wife! She's your wife. And she saw us. What kind of dumb person is this? Leave my house now! Leave! Baby, calm down. Calm down, okay? Just, you know, relax. Hmm? Relax your mind. If you touch me one more time, you will regret ever missing me. Now leave. Calm down! And leave! Calm down! Leave. And I don't want to set my eyes on you again. Oh my God, what have I got to myself to? My wife isn't supposed to be home. Shh, should I go to her? No, no, I can't. But she saw everything. No, I need to apologize. Yes, I should. Sweetheart, what is it? Why are you standing there like a tree staring at me? I, I want to apologize about what happened in the living room. It's not what it looks like, not what you think. Come on, babe, I've forgotten about that. Don't bother yourself. Come here, come and give me a hug. Sweetheart, I said come and give me a hug. <coughs> Don't worry, I'll come to you. Don't worry, it's okay. Come, come and have a seat. Join me in bed. I want to discuss something important with you. Okay. Relax, babe. Let me tell you what happened to me and my clients today. Sweetheart! Baby! Good morning. Yeah, your food is ready. Please come down. My food is ready. Hey. I can't remember the last time you served my breakfast this early. It's 
still trying to be a good wife. Have your seat. Babe. Yes? Is there any problem? No, no, not at all. Okay, guess what? I prepared your favorite meal. Open it. Really? Yes, you will like it. Wow. Do you like it? It's up. Babe, you need to see the way I took my time, my energy in preparing this food like I was preparing your last supper. <laughs> oh, come on, sweetheart. I was joking. It's up. Do you know what, babe? I, I really appreciate it if you take one spoon. What do you mean? Do I have to taste your food before you eat? No, no, it's no love. <laughs> love, I want to get it, please. <laughs> I get it. Come on, fix. Nothing. Now eat your food. You're fine? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That way. What way? Babe, I remember those days when we started our relationship. They used to play around. I miss those days. Eat, continue eating. I'm stuffed. Babe, you barely touched your food. Unlike you, when it comes to your favorite food, you don't play with it. Come on. Keep eating. Sweetheart, won't you drink water? I'm not tasty. I'm fine. You sure? Sure. Anyways, I made you your favorite fresh orange juice. Let me get it for you. Oh my god. I hope this is not my last day on earth. I'm gonna die. Hey darling, this is your fresh orange juice, but this time around I'm not tasting it, you're drinking it all alone. Here you go. Drink up. Babe, what's wrong with you? Are you sure you're okay? Anyways, it's fine. You just need to go upstairs and rest. I'll clean it up. Thank you so much, babe. Hey, I love you. I love you too. Just go to bed. Hopefully, you wake up tomorrow. Hopefully? Yeah. You know, nothing is promised. We all live by the grace of God. Some sleep and they don't wake up the next day. It's just a normal thing. That's true. I don't think I want to sleep anymore. Why? I have some office documents I want to look at. <laughs> okay. Panicking, what's wrong? Nothing. I came back, you were sleeping in the couch. I went upstairs, dropped my handbag, came back, and you're still sleeping. I mean, you need to go to the room and rest. I'm fine. Babe, let's go to the room. Let's go.
What is it? Babe, I sincerely want to apologize. About what? Babe, stop acting like you know nothing. It's been three days. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Your silent treatment is killing me. I am going through emotional torture. Babe, please, babe. Are you not saying it? I'm sorry. Okay, fine. I've known about your immoral acts all along. I just wanted to see things for myself. It's funny how you call this emotional torture. That a woman is silent does not mean she is stupid. Now listen to me very carefully. The next time you repeat this act, you won't be here to regret it. Babe, do you want to kill me? <laughs> no, I can't do that. I can't. Babe, I sincerely regret my action and I promise I will never do it again. It's fine. I've forgiven you. Try to catch some sleep. Thank you, babe. I love you. Babe, I said I love you. Oh, come on, sweetheart. You know I love you too. And if I didn't, you know the rest. Oh my god, so are you stupid? How dare you spill water on me? I'm, I'm very sorry, ma. It was a mistake. Oh, a mistake? Is this how you treat your customers here? No, ma, but you asked me to move it closer. <laughs> oh, you're actually saying it's my fault? No, no, ma. I'm sorry. Let me ask you something. Do you know why you're a waiter here? I'm asking you, answer me! I'm the waitress here because I work here. No, that is not the reason. It is because you have used your hateful days for nothing. You're very useless. I mean, look at yourself. You are so old and yet you're working here as a waiter. How much do you get paid for this? Even if you work here for 10 good years, your life cannot amount to anything. <laughs> Hey babe, I just got to the restaurant. Oh, so fast? Yeah. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you too. But babe, why did you choose this restaurant? Because the food is so nice. You know, before I met you, I spent almost all my days as a bachelor eating there. I barely cook at home. Hmm, I see. I can't wait to taste their food then. You really need to taste it. So, when are you going to get here? Very soon. In the next 10 to 20 minutes. Let me finish up what I'm doing. Oh. I actually wish we could walk into the restaurant together. Come on. Just go in and order a drink. Before you finish up, I will be there. All right, babe. That's fine. I need to go. Bye. All right. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Bye. <sighs> okay. I think that's the place.
Good afternoon. Um, here's the menu. What would you like to order? You know what? Let me just take a look at the menu. I'll call you when I've made up my mind. Oh, good. I'll be waiting for your call. Hello? Come back here. Did you just say you'll be expecting my call? Mm, yes. Are you stupid? You're actually giving me the confirmation that you said you'll be expecting my call. Is that how you people behave here? Couldn't you accord me the respect of saying, all right, ma, okay, ma? No, I, I think this is how you treat your customers, right? No, ma, I'm very sorry about that, ma. All right, ma. Good, you can go. Okay, um, sorry, okay, ma. Um, okay, ma, what do you want to order? I'll have this, okay. this, and this. Oh, okay, ma. All right, ma. Um, before you get me my food, I would like a bottle of water, please. All right, no problem. the water close to me. Sorry, ma. <gasps> oh my god! So Are you stupid? How dare you spill water on me? I'm, I'm very sorry, ma. It was a mistake. Oh, a mistake? Is this how you treat your customers here? No, ma, but you asked me to move it closer. <laughs> oh, you're actually saying it's my fault? No, no, ma. I'm sorry. Let me ask you something. Do you know why you are a waiter here? I'm asking you, answer me. I'm a waitress here because I work here. No, that is not the reason. It is because you have used your grateful days for nothing. You're very useless. I mean, look at yourself. You are so old and yet you're working here as a waiter. How much do you get paid for this? Even if you work here for 10 good years, your life cannot amount to anything. I'm sorry, but those words really hurt me. You think I'm supposed to care about that? Are you supposed to tell me what I'm supposed to say to you? You this old fool. My friend, clean up this place and take this thing out of here. Get me another water. Useless old fool. Can you imagine? She has ruined my dress. Can I leave, ma? Leave? Or do you want me to keep staring at your useless old body? Sorry, ma. Come back here. Take this thing out.
she's so incompetent. I don't know how they employ such people here. I mean, your mates are out there doing other things. <laughs> Babe, where are you? All right, come fast, please. I can't deal with these people here. See you soon. <sighs> Babe, you're here, finally. How are you? So, I'm okay. What should I get for you? Babe, let's put that aside first. The reason why I asked you to come to this restaurant is because I wanted to meet my elder sister. Really? Yes. Why didn't you tell me? Because it's a surprise. But babe, you should have told me. Now you're making me very nervous. Babe, you don't need to be nervous. She's a very nice person. Okay, so when is she coming to meet us? I called her and she said she's here already. Oh, really? Then tell her to come in. Okay, but there's something I need to tell you after. And what is that? Well, I'll tell you later, okay? All right, if you say so. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. So nice to see you. Should I just tell you around? Yes, please. Good afternoon, ma. Babe, does your sister also come here to eat? And why do we have to go through her before we can see your sister? Babe, just calm down. I'll explain things to you later, okay? All right then. So, should I order a good meal for you? You don't need to. I already ordered something. I just wanted to take water first. Okay. So, um... What are you doing here? Did I send for you? Why do you have to come to my table without my permission? Huh? Honey. I... No, 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 babe. Can you imagine? Before you got here, this useless lady put me through hell. Honey, but this guy just... This is not the time to call me, honey. She is so incompetent. Can you imagine? Before you got to this place, I asked her to bring water for me. And guess what she did? She spilled the water all over my body. And I had to slap her. What? You slapped her? Yes, I slapped her because that was the only thing I could do. I can't beat her. She's so lucky that I even slapped her once. You know why? Because I considered the fact that you have an elder sister and I also have an elder sister at home. If not, I would have slapped her twice. Babe! What? You know I told you I brought you here for you to meet my elder sister. Yes, where is she? Well, she's my elder sister. I, I don't understand. Why why was she the one that came to serve me? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why she served you. She's the owner of this restaurant. Since you're not even saying anything. I'm actually speechless. She did not only slap me. She insulted me. Well, I've seen your Facebook page and I've seen pictures of both of you together. So I figured she would be your girlfriend. I saw the comments and everything. So, when I saw her coming in through my CCTV, I wanted to meet her unofficially before you introduced her to me officially. That's why I told the waiters not to attend to her, that I would attend to her myself. Babe, please, I'm sorry. Please, I, I didn't know you were his elder sister. I would have treated you better. I'm, I'm sorry, please. Well, I'm glad I attended to you myself because now I know the kind of person you are. Babe, please help me talk to your sister. Help me beg her, please. But, but, but babe, if, even if she was a waiter, would you have treated her that way? Babe, I, I am so disappointed in you. I'm sorry, babe, please. I, I don't, I, I, I can't stand this. You slapped my sister today. Tomorrow it might be my mom. You know what? I am done. I am sorry I can't continue with this relationship anymore. Be you can't just break up with me because I slapped your sister. 
please. Please. Vicky is a cheat. Um, again, I'm, I'm sorry. I have to let you know this way. She sleeps around with different men and you are not the first person she's bringing home here and introducing as her man. This, this is the exact reason her ex left the marriage. What? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm only telling you because you, you're really a nice person and you're gentle and kind. You do not deserve someone like that. Someone who treats you in that manner. That's all. Oh my god, I had so much fun at the Owens party yesterday. Please, can you I, stop was, talking about it? You did not invite me, so... Come on, I already told you how it happened. I didn't expect it either. He just called me to come meet him at the location where he was, and before I knew it, we drove down to the party. Well, even if your husband called you to come... Look, the point is you should have called me. Okay, okay, I am sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, babe! You're Hi. back! Hi, my girl. Mm -hmm. I'm doing good. Um, how did you get in? The door was locked. I used my spare key and, you know, I got in. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I left my phone in the dining. Not a problem at all, babe. Mm -hmm. so, um, don't tell me those are for me. No, no. They are definitely for me. Oh, babe, I'm just joking. <laughs> You know, I can't do it without getting you gifts, babe. Mm -hmm. Your happiness is all I care about. And you make me happy. <laughs> <coughs> oh, um, Brenda is here. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Hi, once again. I'm glad to hope um, you're enjoying yourself. Well, yeah. And uh, bring the wine for her. Okay, sure. Yeah. So I need to freshen up now. Alright. Take care of yourself. Yeah. I love you, babe. Love you too. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your husband is so sweet. Yeah, you can say that a thousand times. I mean, he literally makes me breakfast in bed before going to work. Oh, oh my wow. god, like, I literally don't want to lose that guy. That's cool. Anyways, um, what am I taking out of the gift bag? Oh, well, you're only going to get a chocolate out of it. So here. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, so, do you want to make something for lunch? Yeah, um, I think we'll just make fried rice and chicken later. Oh, okay. As for now. Bye. Just shut up. How on earth do you cheat on me after everything I have done in this relationship? Babe, cheat on you? How? What are you talking Just about? be quiet. Look at this. Vicky, you are sleeping with another man. Um, Vicky, explain this. Babe, wait, wait. Yes, that is me, but I don't know how this happened. I. I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand what's going on here. How did you even get these pictures? You know what? Pack your things and leave my house. You stupid slut. No, 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 you, you can't do that. I don't know what from you. Pack your things and leave my house. You will hear from my lawyer. Cry not, my baby, it's late. You just need to go to I said pack your things and leave my house now! Please, I didn't. Don't. Do what you regret. 
Get out of my house! Everything. You might tell me how that cut them, but no. Vicky, I can't believe Rowan would act this way to end the marriage over a picture. That's really unlike him. Look, Brenda. Babe, you needed to be dead to see all those drama go down. I felt really, really bad. Look, it's it's fine, okay? Um, obviously, you can stay at my place. I'll always be here for you, okay? Oh, Brenda, I really do appreciate you. Honestly, I don't know how to thank you for everything you've done for me. Accommodating me in your space and... Brenda, you're a good friend. It's fine. This is what friends are for. Okay. <sighs> okay. Brenda, there is this guy I met at the mall two weeks ago. You okay? Um and, and so what about him? Um, oh well, he seemed to have interest in me and I think I like him. <laughs> Vicky, you just left your marriage recently. Why are you jumping into a relationship? I'm actually taking it slow. Yeah, I'm not rushing into things. All right, as long as you're taking it easy. Do you? Okay, Um, let me quickly go to the kitchen and get something to eat. I'm hungry. Okay, no problem. All right, I'll be back. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Um, so, Brenda, this is Easton, the guy I've been telling you about. <laughs> oh, Easton. Um, I'm Brenda, Vicky's best friend. Oh, nice meeting you, Brenda. Brenda here has been the one looking after me since the divorce with my husband. She has really done a lot for me. Uh, Brenda, I, I would like to say a very big thank you to you for taking good care of my lady here. It's, it's fine. Oh well, let's not forget. Um, Easton here got me an apartment yesterday. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh! That's a lot. Wow. You're such a lucky girl. Uh, so I'll be moving out of your apartment soon. Um, Brenda. Why not um, change and let's go out? It's just my own way of saying thank you to you. <laughs> Who am I to say no to free food? <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. Please offer him something. Oh, sure. You're coming. Hi. Hi, Ethan. Um, I wanted to let you know, first of all, thank you for coming. Um, I wanted to let you know something about Vicky. Uh, Vicky? Where is she? What, what happened to her? Um, it's nothing serious. There is no accident. She's fine. Um, how do I put this? Vicky is not who... You think she is? I'm sorry. What do you mean? <laughs> Vicky is a cheat. Um, I'm, again, I'm, I'm sorry. I have to let you know this way. She sleeps around with different men and you are not the first person she's 
bringing home her and introducing as her man. This, this is the exact reason her ex left the marriage. What? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm only telling you because you you are really a nice person and you're gentle and kind you do not deserve someone like that someone who treats you in that manner that's all i don't know what i'm still finding hard to believe <laughs> look you know what I, I know you would say this and that's fine. The reason I called you today is because um, I know she would be bringing in someone here to my house tomorrow. So you can actually come by. She'll be meeting with a guy in my house around 2 p.m. Okay? okay? You can catch her in her act. She wouldn't want to do it at her own place because you might drop by, which is why she uses my place sometimes. Okay. Um. Thank you for this information, Brenda. I'll be here by 2 p.m. tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay, I I need to leave now. I need to leave. No problem. Um, Esther, you, you look nice today. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, is this the residence of Miss Brenda? Yes, it is. Okay, I have a parcel for her. Oh, okay. Okay, um, Ma, please can I quickly use myself? Oh, please? sure. You can use that one. Okay, thank you. Tell me you were coming. Babe, what is happening here? Babe. Who are these people? <laughs> Sorry, do I know you? What is going on here? <laughs> Look, babe, he's just a delivery guy. Look, Easton, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see for yourself. Did you just Call me a delivery guy. After everything I, I did for you, I mean... <sighs> <laughs> Look, babe, this, this guy just came in to drop something for Brenda and that's it. <sighs> Brenda, how am I involved in this? It's the, I, I don't know what is going on here. What's going on here? Um, um, Ruin, what are you doing here? I got your text. Um, y yes, but I texted you to not bother coming. Why are you here? Oh. Ah. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Easton. Um, I, I can't do this anymore. And um, Brenda, I actually do understand what is going on here. What? Yeah, I do. I just decided to play along. You know, Easton here came back home angry last night. And he told me everything you said to him. But I'm so disappointed at you. For you to trash me that way to somebody I love. <laughs> you know, we just decided to play with your silly games. I just see what mischievous actions you come up with next. And Easton. I don't know this guy. He came in here to deliver something for Brenda, and that's it. Am I wrong, delivery guy? 
Yes, ma, you're right. Miss Brenda here actually paid me to do all of this. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, look, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> so, Brenda, are you saying the pictures she sent to me are fake? Not, not really. You can't talk. Look, okay, Vicky, please. I, I'm sorry. I was, I was just jealous. Okay, and you, you've always had an amazing, you had an amazing marriage, and what did you do? You threw it to my face and made me feel like I wasn't anything. You had a good man doing everything for you. And I said that I would ruin it. It's not my fault if he doesn't trust you. It's uh, look, look. It, I don't even understand how, even after the divorce, you somehow still got yourself a good guy that loves you. How, I'm, is, how is that my fault? Brennan, if only you could be such a devil. Say, Vicky, good thing we actually know the truth now. And to be honest, I still love you, Vicky. We can continue from where we stop and, you know, live our happy life. I'm sorry, Roman. I now have a fiancé who loves and trusts me more than you ever will. You only saw pictures and... You couldn't even let me explain myself and the only thing that came to your mind was to chase me out of the house. I'm sorry, we can't get back together. Babe, I think we need to leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm done here. Okay. No, Vicky. <sighs> yes, come in. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Have your seat. Thank you very much, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm Lucy, the IT student from MIT. I know that already. Yes, yeah, sir. Sir, I was so excited when I discovered that I was selected for my IT in your company. Yes, sir. Your company has so much reputation and standard. And I am also promising that I'm going to be of good work, good character in your company. I'm also going to make contributions. Just, you know what? Just cut that short. What contributions are you going to make? Um, Do you realize I'm your boss? Yes, sir. Good. So you dare not brag in front of me. Because I'm your boss, okay? Okay, sir. So let me even ask you, what can you even do? Oh, okay, sir. I know about Python, Cisco Network. You know what? Just forget about it. Let me cut you there. You see, that's what you youths of nowadays do. You know? You just go around making noise. But you have nothing in your brain. The little time you have to improve yourselves, you just stay on social media doing what does not concern you. But, sir... Just shut up your mouth, please. Shut up there. Am I not saying the truth? I once had IT students like you, who had nothing to offer. They just came here to sign their papers so their school can know they passed through us. Just go out there and meet my secretary. She will show you to your office. And let me tell you, you submit your reports to me every Fridays. Okay, sir, but I have some questions. You sir. just keep quiet. I don't have time for your questions. Now, please get out. Use the door. Okay, sir. Leave! If you went to MIT, I have low IQ. Come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, I have a problem I've been battling with for a while and I've not been able to find a solution to it. So I was thinking I could bring it to you. Will you take this nonsense off my desk? Is something wrong with you? Sir... Just shut up there! Pick it up! Sir, it's, it's, it's just... Oh, 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 I get what you're implying. That I'm jobless. I have no work to do. N no. Get out! Sir... I said leave! Sorry. You have a problem for me. 
because I have something I want you to help me sort out. That's why I'm here. It's not your fault. Very soon now you bring clothes, let me help you wash from home. Nonsense. Very stupid girl, and she likes manners. These are the files you asked me to scan. Just drop it there and leave. Okay, sir. So is there an issue? There's nothing. I just have something to, to fix. A little challenge. I'll be fine. Um, I could be of help to um, fix. Please, please, sir. Look. Little children don't interfere into adult issues, okay? Um, Lucia, can you do me a favor? Okay, sir. Could you touch your eye? My... Yes, just scoop up the dead sea in your eye. Okay. Good. Now, let me scoop out the dead in your eye before you try helping others. So you may leave now. Sir, I was just Lucia, thinking... could you please just shut up? But, sir, I was thinking I could help you fix the challenge. <laughs> You want to help me fix the challenge? Yes, I could be of help. You that have nothing in your skull. But, sir... Um, Lucia, please. Wait, let me give you a quick reminder. It seems you failed to realize I'm your boss. Maybe you don't know my qualifications. Let me remind you. You see, I'm a professional in Cisco. And I have three different certificates from Harvard University. First class. So I don't know what you think you can teach me standing here with you blockhead. Yeah. Lucia! Please, I don't have time for your noise. Now, please, get out. You've done what I asked you to do. Thank you very much. Leave. Sir. Leave! She's so proud. Why is she even here? Why is she here? My day is already getting bad. I was making it worse. Did she even scan this thing? Y y y yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I understand that. I have less than 48 hours to finish with this, sir. Sir, but the... No, 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 sir. The app isn't working, and... Sir, sir how about you send, um, maybe a consultant, you know? Someone to help me check this. Sir, you know this has never happened before. The app seems to be difficult. Whenever I try to open it, I don't know what's happening, sir. Please, sir. I would really appreciate if you can send someone here to assist me. Sir, I understand, I understand that, sir. I understand, and I'm really sorry, sir. That's never happened like this before. I don't know what's wrong. So as we speak, I'm trying to see how. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. My apologies, sir. My apologies, sir. <sighs> I totally understand, sir. Alright, sir. I'll get back to you, sir. Uh, sir, I was about leaving when I discovered that you were still in the office, so I came to say goodbye. Goodbye. Sir, I would really appreciate it if you would allow me to interfere. Um, Lucia, or what do they call you? You never can tell, sir. I can tell. Lucia, you fail to understand that I am above you in every aspect. I am more qualified, more experienced, and way smarter than I can ever be in this life. Please, leave my office. Okay, sir. Leave! You were about to leave in the office and you came to come and tell me goodbye. She just likes cheap gossip. Nonsense.
Mm. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, Andrew, I've been working on this for a long time. You see, I tried everything. It keeps crashing. I've lost my files. The app doesn't work. I don't know if you can just check it out and sort this out. I'm tired. Uh, okay. Um, don't worry. It will be sorted. Please. 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 <sighs> I'm sorry, sir, but I don't understand this too. Come on, Andrew. If you don't understand, who will? Andrew, you need to check. Check. There's something you can do. Come on, Andrew, please. A lot of money is at stake. I need your help. I'm trying my best here, sir. Please. What are you doing here? Um, sir, I came to see if you have everything sorted out already. What is your business? Look, Lucia, I have told you you cannot be of help to me. As you can see, I'm busy here. Please leave. Back to what you're doing, Andrew. Lucia! Andrew! What are you doing here? I said it. You know her? Yes, sir. Lucia here was my cosmate. In fact, she was one of the best students. Sir, the software and the application we've been using in this company for the past one year now. She created them. Come on, Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> Lucia created what software and what app? Uh, yes, sir. I'm very sure. She created them. This same one we're using. Exactly, sir. Lucia, how have you been? I've been very fine. What about you? Yeah, I've been good. Um, I came here to fix the application and the software you created. But since you are here, it's a good thing, sir. And uh, if you don't mind, you can be of help. Okay, it's been my pleasure. I'm done. All the files are restored, and you still have access to the clients. So instead of using IP Corn Firewall, I use PFSense, which is more effective and 20 times better. So, yeah. <laughs> you can see for yourself. <laughs> Andrew, it's done. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know where to start. Lucia, I want to sincerely apologize for not giving you my listening ears. You see, if I knew you were good at this, I would have solved this whole issue since. Not even bothering Andrew here. Please, please forgive me. No, it's fine. Don't mention, sir. I should be thanking you for giving me the opportunity to use my talent. No, Lucia, please. I should be thanking you. you you've saved this company a whole lot of money. Thank you very much, sir. Today happened to be my deadline. Wow. Oh my God, I'm happy. Lucia, henceforth, I'll call you. Lucia the fixer. <laughs> I'm really honored, sir. I need to call the boss. Just okay. Hello, sir. Sir, it's done. It's done. I should be done before the end of the day. No, it wasn't me, sir. She's right here. Lucia, yes, sir. All right, sir. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Lucia. Thank, thank you. you Andrew, thank you. Wow! Thank you very much, sir. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. You, you slapped me. I slapped. And I would do it again. Please, what would you like to order? Um, for me, I'll have jello fries and fried rice with chicken. All right. Um, what about you? What's that? 
What do you mean by what about me? Um, I'm sorry, I... Is that how you people offer your services over here? You walk up to me and you ask me what about me? You're supposed to ask this in the proper way. Um, I'm sorry, Ma. I, I thought you both came together. I, I've taken an order, so I wanted to ask you what you like. And so what if we came together? What do they teach you people here? The proper thing to say is, excuse me, madam, what would you like to order? I, I'm sorry, madam. I, I take full responsibility. Of course. So, so madam, what would you also like to order? Don't you understand English? Take out the also. It's not what would you also like to order. What would you like to order? I'm sorry, ma'am. What would you like to order? Better. Please get me pasta and chicken. Okay, um, anything to drink? Whatever she's having. Okay. I'll be back right away. I'm sorry, ma'am. That wasn't intentional. Whether it was intentional or not, it's not the issue here. The issue is you have decided to cause trouble just by disrespecting me. Come on, Cora. Take it easy. Please don't tell me to take it easy. Allow me to put this useless person in his place. They end up making bad decisions in life and it affects their future. They come here and disrespect people. If you had done anything useful with your life, would you be here? Something as simple as waiting on someone, you can't even do it. Nonsense. Look, I hope you know that you're so useless that I can walk in there and call the manager and have you fired. Madam, I promise you it won't happen again. Of course it wouldn't. Idiot. Please get out. Basic fool. Look at him. Hey, no, no, that's a human being, just hope. Learn to have some respect for yourself. Don't let people ride you around. Basic dignity, it's basic. Fine. It's okay. Alright, it's not even a problem. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Um. Mom, I will get your order right away. Ah, uh, yes, and I will have it. you back. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I am saying? Do you see how useless and miserable these waiters are? Now, come on, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a mistake. Mom, it, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. You, you slapped me. I slapped. And I would do it again. I will do it again since you cannot do your job. Maybe if I give you another slap, it will reset your brain and teach you how to serve people. Cora, right, please calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Do you understand me? What if this thing has stained my dress? Do you realize that this dress can pay your salary? Probably for three months. And I have a date for heaven's sake. Why are you ruining my mood? Do you want to ruin my date? I realize that you will not understand anything I'm trying to say because you're useless, stupid, and do not have a future. I understand that you're a good for nothing. Do you get it? But please avoid me with your stupidity. Sorry, ma'am. I'll get it. Keep your sorry to yourself. I'll, I'll get in you. I need to tell you that as well. Look at him. Stupid human. Come on, come on what's the problem? Please. And I'm only enduring all of this rubbish from you because I've been single for so long and I really want to meet this guy. 
No, it's fine. He will soon be here with his friend. Please, you better be. Not in the mood for all this. Why are you still standing? This better be worth the whole trouble. Josh? Cora, nice to meet you. Where's your friend? He's here already. Uh, what do you mean by he's here already? Does he work here? He's always here. He's here? What do you mean? What do you mean by he's here? He's the owner of this restaurant and he owns other restaurants in the city. Wow. <laughs> that means he must be rich. Oh, I work with the big boys, you know. I really want to meet your friend. Okay then, let me call him so that... Um, oh, all right. Let me call him. That's fine. Right. Hello, Clinton. Hello. Yeah, where are you? Yes, um, I'm at the restaurant. Okay. I want to meet someone. Oh, good. I'll be with you soon. Okay, I'm sitting at the right side close to the air condition there. Can you, can you see me? Okay. All right, then. I hope you guys are enjoying your meal. Yes, sure. Josh, you called me. Who called you? What are you doing here? Excuse me. Have you not ruined my mood enough? What are you doing here for heaven's sake? I'm tired of seeing stupid people. I'm here to meet important persons. Please get out. Why are you still standing here? What is going on here? This is Clinton, the guy I wanted to meet. Him, the waiter. He's not a waiter. Clinton is humble. He's trying to keep a low profile. Um, oh my god, I, I did not know. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I was just, I wasn't really in a good mood. Uh, Josh, it's fine. No, I was really happy over the phone when you told me you wanted to introduce someone to me. <laughs> um, this is the person who you wanted to introduce to me? Clinton, I'm sorry about that. Um, this is not the person I would love to meet. <laughs> I, I met already. And um, there is nothing I would love to know about her. You know what, Josh? I'll be in my office. I was in a very bad mood, okay? And look, please, help me talk. Help me talk to your friend, okay? I cannot beg you, okay? Have you seen what you've done to yourself? I mean, every time you keep complaining, you're saying, but what girl want to date someone with such a character as yours? You know what? I'm leaving. What kind of man is this? Um, um, hold on, you cannot enter. You haven't made your payment. My payment?
Honey. Yes. Why did you change the channel? Can't you see I'm watching my favorite program? And I also want to watch my favorite program. You saw me watching something. Come on. Oh, 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 I guess it's up. <laughs> Who bought the TV? You. And who paid for the subscription? You. So why do you have a problem if I change the channel of the TV I bought and the subscription I paid for? <laughs> That's just rude. But, but I take care of things too in the house. I make sure the house is in order. Here we go again. Women always dodging responsibilities. And... Uh, God, I'm not even in for that. You know what? Um, please, where's the car key? I need to go pick up something at the supermarket. And if I may ask you, who bought the car? Are you serious right now? You can actually buy your car if you want to drive around. Or... Or I right? Come on, please have a seat. Yeah. So, uh, babe, good thing you're working now. So, we have to share the responsibilities in this house. I just got back from work. Can't this wait? Babe, I'm. Uh, I think you shouldn't come with the excuse of you, you're as fragile and you're tired. Okay, I'll make it quick and fast. Now, this is a document that has the price of everything in this house, the responsibilities and the rent. So, I'll need you to actually um, sign here to indicate that you are in full support of sharing the responsibilities. This is my copy. I've actually signed mine. I need you to sign yours too. You want us to sign in a marriage? Definitely. It's fine. Okay, so um, you can as well. So, um, babe, one more thing. I wanted to know that this is not new. Every couple do it. It's just an agreement. Nothing serious. Yeah. Sign the, the left hand side. Stop acting like you're new. Stop it like you're new to this marriage thing. Okay. Um, okay, so this is your own copy. You can keep it. I don't need it. I insist. Just have it. In, you might need it later. Yeah. So one last thing. The choice, I would um, split it between the both of us. And I'll paste it at the kitchen door, so we can actually know our routine daily. I think we are good here, babe. She can go in and shower now. She can go in now. Babe, stop acting like it's a big deal. And make sure you don't lose yours. Wow. Babe, you need to see Greg's wedding party. It came out nice. The decoration, the arrangements, and everything. Let me see. You can use your phone. Okay, forgot. Uh -huh. This is so nice. Babe? Did you change the Wi-Fi password? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I changed the password. This subscription finished yesterday. And since I was the only one that subscribed, 
So I changed it. You should have just told me and I would pay my own part. I sent it to you on WhatsApp. Let me make a transfer. What's the password? I made the transfer. Hold on, let me confirm. Okay, confirmed. So the password still remain the same, just add four zero at the end. Yes. Um so babe, like I was saying, I I would, um, wanted to What's wrong with her? Why is she angry? I meant to pay for the subscription. <laughs> Whatever. Dan, where are you? I'm inside. You're inside? Dan, I can't seem to open the door. I tried my key and it's not opening. What's going on? Do you remember the keyhole got faulty? The computer came to fix it and I've paid. So, I informed you on WhatsApp but he didn't reply. I'm expecting your payment. Dan, then I have been busy all day. How did you expect me to see and know this? Then please come downstairs and open this door. What kind of man is this? Um, um hold on. You cannot enter. You haven't made your payment. My payment? Uh, uh, babe, let's not go there. You know the agreement. Can't I go in first? Babe, you make your payment. Before you go in. Then how much is it? Fifty dollars. That's what I paid to fix it all. Fifty dollars? Yes. So you're sending twenty five dollars to me. Equal. I have the receipt and everything inside. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I've confirmed it. Walk away. Do a... I get a specky? Sure. Come give me a dollar. Please get out. What's wrong with you? Welcome. Dan? What's wrong? You look unhappy. Tomorrow, please walk. What's the problem? 
the boss called for a meeting and and he said the company is going through hardship and won't be getting paid in the next five months. That's a lot. Where do I start from? And we've not been paid the last two months salary. Um the, I don't know. Just don't let that bother you. You you really look sad. You shouldn't let this weigh you down. It's will, but I'll just try. I'm tired. Look, it's it's fine. I'm here. Okay? I, I got you. Um I saw the money you sent for the food. And your food is already on the dining. Just calm down, have something to eat. Okay? Okay. Come on. Come on, cheer up. Let's go. Let's go, come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I went to the kitchen and I realized the kitchen door was locked. Um, yes. Do you have anything you want to take in the kitchen? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm famished. I, I, I need to eat. So, the thing is, I can't unlock the kitchen. Uh, because the most of the food stuff in there were purchased by me. You know? Uh, babe. You know my condition. I'm without work and I need to eat. How do you want me to survive? Babe, you know I have to follow your your rules. You you were insistent on it. In fact, you made sure to remind me every day about the agreement I signed. Babe, I, I can't suddenly just disobey you. You said, and I quote, we have to enjoy and use only what we contributed to. Uh, okay, fine. Yes, I, I did. But, uh, babe, you, 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 know, you know I'm without a job. And besides, I have also, babe. B no, you don't have ulcer. Uh, but I, 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 I think I do. Babe, 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 please. Babe, babe, I, I, babe, babe. It's 3 p.m. already. I have not eaten anything today. Babe, babe. Tessa! Why are you shouting my name like that? I went to the bedroom. I want to take my beats. Yeah, and I realized that the water is not rushing. Oh, um, I forgot to inform you. The plumber, I asked the plumber to turn off the water in the house. The only place water is running right now is just the kitchen and the visitor's room. I'm here to see your bill for the repairs we had done for the pumping machine. Um, babe. I need to go to work. Dan, Dan, this shouldn't be my business. You already know the drill. You make your transfer. I simply ask the plumber to come, turn the water back on. Come on, you, 
you created this agreement yourself. Why are you acting brand new? Okay, uh, no problem. I, I can use the guest room, right? No, you can't. The kitchen and the guest room, they're locked. <laughs> Please, I was actually coming in here to get my toiletries and towel. I need to take a shower now. Babe, can, babe, babe, can I, can I, can I, if, if, it's, it's, it's just to wash my face. Lisa, you did not tell me you were coming. This is a surprise. Uh, I'm here for an urgent matter that needs to be sorted out immediately. So I understand that. You and my brother, instead of leaving as a couple, a happy couple, are now leaving like some sort of flatmates under some sort of agreement. What is with the agreement and sharing of views here and there? <sighs> Lisa, I was going to show something to you, but it's fine. So, Lisa, I'm sorry you visited us under these circumstances. Dan here one day, less than a year into our marriage, stops me from, just woke up and stopped me from using things in the house. That according to him, we had to only use things according to, or based on how we contributed to purchasing those things. I, he stopped me from using the TV, the car. Yes, he got that far. Even eating. He had locked me out of the house before because I did not um, contribute to the repairs. He forced me to get a job. I have no problem with that. I love that I work. But it was the way he went about it. And he was the one who insisted on it. He even made me sign an agreement. Yes, he... He got an agreement, signed it. If you go into our kitchen, you would see the timetable. Everything is there. He insisted on this. And remember he did this when I wasn't working. And now he has lost his job and he's suddenly acting funny. I'm simply giving him a taste of his own medicine. I'm only going according to what my husband, Dan, wants. Dan. Have you heard her? You have turned your marriage into a company, a business, whereby you sign agreements here and there. That's, that's, that's ex exactly why I, 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 I called you over to help me uh, beg her and, and make her answer that I, I am sorry and... Dan, you really shouldn't be doing this. You should love your wife. You are the man. You are supposed to protect her, provide for her, treat her with love. What's with the miserable contracts and agreements? I never knew you to be such a person. I'm not with it again. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Please. Um, please. You've heard him. I know it's quite difficult and you're really, really angry and heartbroken. But I'll plead with you. Please. You need to forgive him and live with him as his wife. Look, you both need to do better, okay? I don't want to hear anything about this agreement. Destroy the miserable agreement and live in love and peace. Lisa, I, I couldn't have a problem with anything you've said. Um, I love my husband as annoying as he can be. I forgive him. But I would need him to work on his work situation real fast as well because it would make things easier i understand and i am sure he has lessons lessons right yeah yeah, yeah i have so i believe you both can handle it from here as two adults that you are i have things to do now okay dan do better so you're, you're, you're leaving that right Yes, I have to go now.
Babe, thank you so much. Thank you. You really hurt my feelings. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. Love you. I think I'm hungry. Dan. Wow. Um, you won't be meeting my family. Just my dad. What do you mean? I thought you said I'd be meeting your siblings as well. Yes, you... You get to meet my siblings, but you know they handle important parts of the family business. So they will be at the business seminar. But don't worry, you will get to meet them. But I want you to meet my dad first. All right, no problem. Oh yes, that's true. What do I wear? I don't have anything nice. See, you don't have to dress to impress my dad. But I want to. I want to look good for him. She wants to look good for him. No, 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 not him per se. I want to look good for you while I go see him. No, it's the first time. All right. We have a lot of outfits in the wardrobe. Maybe no, 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 no. Those ones are old. I want something new. Something new? Yes, baby. Okay, I'll just order something for you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Now? Yes. Babe, I'm tired. No, 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 no. Let's go now. You have to drag me. I'm tired. Mm. You have to, you no. have to drag me. Babe, come, come on. No. Dad, I know I'm supposed to introduce my fiancée to you, but um, uh, I'm sorry. She won't be able to make it. What do you mean by that? You know I didn't go to the office today because of your expected visit with your girlfriend. Dad, you you can't even take a joke. Hey, if I she's here. Valerie. Valerie. Dad, uh, meet my fiancé. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, and your name is? Valerie. Valerie. You're welcome. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good day, Master Clinton. Good day, ma. Sir, the food is almost ready. I'm sorry for the delay. Okay. Thank you. And uh, Valerie, my son told me that you just finished your Master's in Public Administration. Yes, sir. Mm. Dad, dad um, sorry, can we talk about that over the meal? No, she just came in. Uh, I want to allow her rest a bit. Mm. As I was saying the other time, my son told me that you have been dating for a while now. Yes, sir, that's true. Mm. This is the first time you will be bringing a girl home that, that I really like. <laughs> really? Yes, yes. You know, I never really approved of um, the girls that you brought before, but, but there's something special about you, I must say. Thank you. My pleasure. I hope you're enjoying the food. Oh, yes, very much. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, tell me more about yourself. Um, so, you know my name already. I am from a family of six. And you're already aware about my presence, educational qualification. Um, and I love reading. Yes, I love to read. Mm. Clinton is a reader, too. Yes, I am. Um, that was how we actually met. Our uh, reading brought us together. We met at a book club. Splendid. Yes. Splendid. Um, Clinton. Yes, 
There's a document I want to take to the office tomorrow morning. Please help me go upstairs and get it. It's right. either in my wardrobe or the cabinet beside my, my bed. Okay, then. Please help me get it. Yes, uh, Valerie, I know girls like you. Uh, so what do you mean? I knew you are after my son for the money. Uh, um, sir, I love Clinton with all my heart. And I will never do that to him. I really do love your son. Come on, I know how you guys do it. I will make you a deal. You know I'm single and my wife died a couple of years ago. How about you leave my son and date me? He does not need to know. And I will spoil you with money. Every month, you get a minimum of $250,000 from me. Sir. Please, give it a deep thought. Because the moment it comes down, this deal is off the table. Sir, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I love your son. I can't do this. I, I can't have a relationship with his father. Are you sure? Are you sure about this? Actually... Dad. Yeah, my son. I, I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. No problem. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get it myself. I'll get it myself. All right. Um, so... What were you guys discussing? Yes, I was getting to know her better. I was getting to know the kind of girl that's dating my son. Um, I, I, I wanted to know the kind of grandfather our kids would have. Um, okay. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah. Um, I, I thought about what you said. I will do it. Actually, the money is really important. That's great, my girl. You know, I will give you so much money than my son can ever give to me. Y yes, I know. Uh, I will send you a private address in one of my guest houses in town where we can hook up. Okay, baby. Send me some kisses, baby. Um, no, when you meet. No, please, just send, just send a few as an appetizer, you know. <laughs> okay. Mwah. That's my girl. Okay, till we meet very shortly. Okay, baby. All right. Why is the whole room dark? Oh, he likes the place, so let's be dark. Oh, uh, okay. I'll leave you. Valerie, it's nice that you came, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, one of the things that gives me pleasure is to watch a young, beautiful girl dance. Can you dance? Um, yes I can. Anything for you. That's nice. You know, my son must not know about this. Um, yes, definitely. He, he can't. He wouldn't. And again, you know you cannot date both father and son. So that means you will have to leave him for me, right? Um, yes sir, I know that. I, I actually dated him because I wanted an opportunity to be with you. That's the only reason. I know that Clinton can provide for me as you would. So I, I know, sir. So why don't you show me the stuff that you're made of? Why don't you dance for me? 
Okay. Alexa, play some soft music for daddy, baby. Why, do, why does it sing like two people are clapping? That's because there are two people clapping, really. Valerie. I trusted you. So... You were dating me because of my money. No. No, Clinton. I'm sorry, Clinton. It's not what you think. Nobody pushed you into it. Don't forget that we were both in on it. Oh no, no, sir. I'm so I promise. I'm, I really needed the money, Clinton. I really, really needed the money. Clinton, please. I wanted to know the person I'll be spending my forever journey with. So this is how you you choose to repay me. I'm sorry, I'm so so sorry. It's it's not what you think. I'm not dating you for your money, Clinton, please. You're not sorry. You only ashamed because you got caught. Baby, please, baby. Well, son, I think we are done here. And you, young lady, put on your clothes and leave. Sorry. Please, please, please. Baby, please. Baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get out. Please. How dare you touch my cup of coffee and start cleaning without taking permission from me? My ask for permission. I use, I use to... I'm sorry, but ask for permission. Welcome to Enemy Capitals. Are you greeting me? Still on your filthy seat. I'm sorry, ma. Can I get a cup of coffee? Sure, ma. Hello? <coughs> Yes, please bring a cup of coffee to the reception right now. Please make it quick. Yes, thank you. And what did you just do? No, tell me, what did you just do? I just called the errand girl to get you a cup of coffee, ma. So you cannot go yourself? What do you even think you are? Ma, I can't leave this place should in case any other guests come in. Who cares? Do you know who I am? No, do you know who I am? Of course you don't. I'm going to tell you who I am, what it's going to cost you. I am. Miss... Good day, Miss Sally Baker. Oh, good day. Um, I heard your voice from my office. Is there anything the issue with? Um, Mr. What's your name? Greg. Oh, Mr. Greg. Okay, at first I said I was going to come to the office, attend the board meeting, meet the staffs, and leave. But no more. What is the name of this beautiful young lady here? Oh, this is Helen, our young and brightest staff. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> but Helen just lost her job. Uh, may I know why, ma? Are you questioning me? No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry about that, ma. Sorry about that, ma. Apparently, you own the biggest share in the company, ma. That's right. Sir, please, I'm sorry. Ma, please, I'm so sorry. Please take me to the board room. Okay. Um, Helen. I'm very sorry, but you have Would to... Would you? Please evacuate your things, please. Sorry, this way. So sorry. Mm -hmm. I need to evacuate that seat now. 
Excuse me. There are other vacant seats. You can have one there. I need you to leave this seat now. Good. Hi. Okay, so we can start now. Okay, uh, thank you everyone for coming for this quarterly report. It's a report for the top shareholders and executive as myself. Um, just to say that we've been in profit in the last quarter and the new product we are testing has gone, the gone positive reviews. I just want to use to say that we are in good hands and everything is going on fine. Before each and every one of us here is our quarterly report, kindly go through and if there are any questions, I will be ready to take them. Thank you. I have a question. Please go ahead. Why wasn't I recognized when I walked in here? As the highest shareholder, I demand to be recognized. I don't even have the copy of the quarterly report. We're sorry about that, but every member of the board knows themselves here, and we are short for time, so we decided to skip the introduction. And who are you to make that decision? It was a unanimous decision, not of my own self. As the higher shareholder, I demand that you be fired immediately. You don't have the power to do that. To fire an executive as myself, the head of operations, you need the vote of the board to be able to do that. Good. Simple. If you want the head of operations to keep his office, kindly raise your hands. Fine. Now, if you want the head of operations to be fired immediately, raise your hands. Perfect. As the highest shareholder of this company, I hold 40% of this company shares, and Ms. Betty here holds 11% of this company shares, so that makes 51%. Does anybody beat that? So the number of shares now determines that you, head of operations, you're fired with immediate effect. So I need you to leave this room, head to your office, clear your decks, and leave this company immediately. It was another seven with you all. I will take my leave immediately. Thank you. So, who is next in line to Mr. What is his name again? James. I, I, I think that would be Nima. You are now the new head of operations. <laughs> Please take over. Th thank you, Ma. Thank you, everyone. Um, okay. Um, like we all know, the quarterly report has been shared amongst us. Oh, sorry. S sorry, ma. Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, ma. Um, um, just in case you have any question, I think I might be able to answer the question. <laughs> no question. Thank you. Thank you. To Get me coffee. Okay, ma. Jasmine, ma. Okay. Jasmine, you can continue your job. Thank you, ma. Oh. 
Um, Mr. Collins, good morning. Good morning. Oh my God, such a mess. Oh my. Ma, let me call the cleaner to clean it. Yes, please do. Thank you, sorry. Mm. Such a mess. Please hurry up. Hello? Um, kids, please, can you come to the reception? There's a mess, please. Seriously. Sorry, Ma. Sorry. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Hurry up and stop walking slowly like a snail. Sorry, Ma, please, can I? So, I was saying, you could buy stuff like that from the market without anybody knowing it was... Sorry, I'll, I'll call you... How, I'll call you back, Margaret. How dare you? How dare you touch my cup of coffee and start cleaning without taking permission from me? May I ask for permission? Are you, are you stupid? I'm sorry, but ask for permission. Okay. So now you call me a liar. So you're actually calling me a liar. Okay, I don't understand what's going on in this office. What's going on? Mr. Greg. Yes, madam. Your cleaner called me a liar. No, 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 just him. Then she call me a liar. Answer wisely. She did, ma'am. Excuse me. She asked for permission and you gave her a go hired. And how did I give her the permission? You nod your head and that was why she cleaned. And who the hell do you think you are to interrupt the conversation? You know what, Mr. Greg? Yes, ma'am. I have had this up to here and I want her fired immediately just like others. Ma, please, please. Oh, no, 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 ma, please. Oh, please, let me beg her, please, I beg you, please. Kate, Kate, please. Oh, please, 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 just pack this and leave, please. Huh? Thank you, Kate. Just look at the mess. Sorry about that, madam. Mr. Collins, Miss Sally, please let's go to the board meeting. And why is he going to the board meeting? Oh, he's also a shareholder. I'm sure it's one of the small shareholders we have in here. Welcome everyone. Um, first of all, um, this is Sally. Miss Sally, our highest shareholder. Thank you. So, um, before I proceed, I would have loved to take some announcements, but it's better we take our last quarter report. Um, currently, we have our account balance and every other thing in place. Because we cut down some expenses, where we started training um, our staff to take other positions. Um, we just trained few staff to become securities in the company uh, instead of using all these security agencies, which is really, really expensive. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Firstly, thanks for the recognition. But there is something I really want to discuss with the board. So I was thinking we changed 30% of our current workers. 30%? Yes. I, I believe that will have a serious effect on the company. Training all those new staff to gain productivity and all that. Who cares? Mr. Greg, who cares? Listen, I have a whole list of people I want to employ personally. So I insist we let 30% of the workers go. Okay, ma. Um, before we can take that decision, we would like every board member to take a vote. Oh, you already know the outcome. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Um, but we still need to take the vote. Um, please. Carry on. So please, if we want to fire 30% of the staff, can we please raise our hands? Thank you. I told you it was a total waste of time. Um, I'm sorry about that, ma. There is no need for you to be sorry, Mr. Greg. 
because you are fired. <laughs> Um, I think this would be the best time to make my announcement. Miss Sally, I am pleased to announce to you that someone else has bought 50% shares of this company and 5% of Miss Betty's shares. What? You sold your shares? Yes, I really needed the money. That's not possible. Who could that be? Is it my dad? Oh, no. No, Miss Sally. Mr. Collins here. Please, a round of applause. And right now, Mr. Collins here has 55% of the total shares. Don't you think his opinion is solely important in making this decision? So, Mr. Collins, what do you have to say? Thank you. I feel firing 30% of the staffs is not necessary. And um, for the cleaner that was fired, Mr. Greg, please call her back. And I also heard some other staffs were fired wrongly. Mr. Greg, we'll look into that after the meeting. Please proceed with the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Thank you very much. I will contact all those uh, uh, staff so they can come back into the position. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> 